Hey guys, Andrew here with Great Lakes Sprouts Media. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a very unique and special plant, the pawpaw. When I talk to a lot of gardeners, expert gardeners, they have no idea what I'm talking about, even though this plant and fruit is the state fruit of Ohio. I know of a secret patch that I found a couple years ago. I'm gonna show it to you guys. Come on, let's go see if we can find it again. So we ask, why isn't the pawpaw found in our local grocery stores? The problem that most experts say is that both the fruit's picking season and the shelf life are unfortunately very short. Pawpaw trees bear fruit only for about six weeks in the late summer, and the fruit bruises very easily after picking and only lasts a few days, about a week if refrigerated, presenting significant commercial challenges. Very unlikelihood that you'll find a pawpaw at your supermarket. Although you'll find it at your local farmer's market around this time of year, late September all the way till end of October, your best bet would be to find one fresh from a tree somewhere you know in your area and pick it that way. The good news is that the continent's largest edible fruit hasn't disappeared from the American landscape. If you look at this map here, this is a good idea of where to start to if you guys want to start searching for pawpaws. This region of the Midwest, anywhere can be found. Although over time, with deforestation, unfortunately, it's more rare and harder to find these species. So if you do find one, keep the secret to yourself. This is the patch right here. Right, I don't see Look, it. this little grove right here. I see the leaf. Wow, yep, awesome, we found them guys. Where's the fruit? We're right, right above here, come on. I think I see a couple. Oh, right here, look. So here we go guys, we found the pawpaw. Perfect example, typically it grows in clusters like this. These aren't ready to pick like I said. A really good identification feature, triloba, a similar triloba, the genus and species. You kind of see these clusters of three. This one's got four, sometimes four, but typically three. Also, when we go up to the plant, we crush it. It's got a very peppery smell. We look at the bud here, it's naked. There's no bud scales, almost like a paintbrush. The bark, grayish in color, a lot of little lenticels. It's more profound as the tree gets older, but you'll know when you find a pawpaw patch, you'll see these main ones over here that are a little bit bigger. Sometimes there'll be one that's the mother that all the saplings descend from her. This plant's really interesting because it's been around, they say since Pangea, when the dinosaurs were around. The flower, when you smell the flower, it smells like a dead carcass and it is pollinated by a fly. So they say if you leave a dead carcass underneath this tree, it actually promotes more pollinators to get more fruit production. And yeah, the fruit is a, it's a delicacy to two of our presidents, Thomas Jefferson, George Washington, they used to make custard out of this stuff and uh, they loved it. Same with the uh, Pawnee Indians, Native Americans. You know, it's a really, really cool plant. Like I said earlier, a lot of people don't know about this plant. And even though they've been gardening in, in, in Ohio, I didn't know about it for a while until I took a class with my horticulture teacher and he showed me it the first time and I was so amazed. I was like, wow, we have a fruit like that? Yeah, we're gonna get, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cut one open here and see if I can find one that's kind of ready. Let's see if we can find one. So here's one here, this one's kind of mushy. This one's actually ready to go. Let's cut this one open, let's eat it right here. I'm just gonna slice it vertically because the seeds inside, you'll see the seeds inside here. This one, this one could use a little, couple more days, maybe a week, but look at those seeds, they're real fleshy. Very interesting seed. Kind of cool looking. But yeah, we got the pulp inside, guys. It tastes like a mango, a pineapple, and a banana combined. Mmm, that's really good. That's a small one. 
Yeah, I'd say maybe if I gave it like five more days, then we'd it'd be perfect. There you have it, guys, the pawpaw. If you have any questions, comment below. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. See you guys soon.